to the game. This is just Alchemist in a nutshell. Top lane can go for the Sun onto Mirana. She doesn't have a leap available. Fada's in trouble. Needs to get away from this one, but that's easy. He'll spill the first blood and forces Yamsor back under his own tier one tower. While on bottom lane, it's S4 to find the kill onto Puppy. With what is happening right now, he could be losing this lane harder. Oh, as I say that, he could be in trouble this time around, though. Real aggressive. Waveform's in. He's already used adaptive strike, but that's enough life. Strength Morse up to tank up the tower. Now he's not as happy anymore. There's no aggressive moves really being made by Secret here. They're just trying to dodge and get oh, theirs. There's by. one from mid one. Split the yeah. from Puppy should be the extra bit of damage. They need to kill off Crit and mid one. Well, he'll claim it. Yamsor had the kick to help out, but Arteezy finds Ace. Such a bigger off. kill, you go for support, and the kick, nope, easier upgrade, which is if Samael wants to start sharing off Agadim Scepters, he just buffs up the Weaver, then you got the time most for save, and Crit, well, he needs a bit of a save, he's the lowest hero in Evil Genius at the moment, so it's the easiest one for Team Secret to kill off. And yeah, they're looking for more, they're chasing after Ace, oh, oh, getting oh, around, oh, no, this time, the Phoenix, the Radiant Jungle, they go, but they really want to have this mid lane. Crit's going to reveal himself with the Wave of Terror, but they want the Alchemist. This is the invasion reason. The whole time they came here, they want to give this quick kill onto Samel. Rolling ball to fall, they get the silence. No chemical rage to work. The E Blade pop in the mid one. Chalks up his sixth kill of the game. Uh, it is very clear that EG's next objective is the Roshan, and Secret will not let them have it. Uh huh. That's it, Surf Water. Maybe gonna Puppy's going to see a position. Sure. Concoction going after Puppy. Can he cold embrace in time? The Invis, they have detection, but the cold embrace is there. It works off Arteezy from Earth shocking him down and instantly into Roshan. Puppy does have buyback available as mid one hovers just northeast of that Roshan area. The arrow flies forward. Arteezy and Roshan both, both miss it as they're hugging the rock wall. But here comes Ace with the jump forward. They bring down S4 buybacks. Still all available, but it's Team Secret who are the ones dropping and will actually commit that first buyback. On Yapsaw. The smoke's still not broken, but at this point it's starting to become really obvious what Secret are doing. They haven't been shown in the map for so long. And oh, looking already. They yeah, go for the curse already. It's on to S4. Keep him, keep him out of the fight. Morphling wants to get involved. The arrow is a long stun on the crit. He'll be controlled, but mid one trying to put this double damage to use. Looking for a target. And right now, they've all run away. They all died. They get the kick. Yapsaw caught up to him. And with Ursa, the adaptive strike flies forward. So much damage with the lens. They break the Aegis Immortal. The buyback comes in for Vengeful Spirit. The concoction from Samel. It'll go straight. But the one from mid one may be a hell of a lot better. Overwatch fly. Protect himself inside the supernova. Oh, Jimmy, the three man dead. Jimmy hits the ball. The side of a barn is a target too small for him. Now they're after Yapsaw. Mid one. Can he get the kill on the crit? No, he cannot. Has to wave bomb away. Flies forward, Samel backs off as he sees it coming. Another quick concoction, but that's easy. Enraged up, looks for the kill on mid one. Nine one charge is available. Wait for him in a second, but more fun. Lock out the crowd and Marvin. Evil geniuses, a double kill for Arteezy. The tier two tower as well. Almost 20,000 of the Alchemist. Marana is looking hot either. Oh. And the new one. Goodbye, Yatsa. 45 seconds on the sideline. Everything matters at this point. You definitely don't want to fight without that Lincoln Sphere. Yeah, some mail. They come up, rolling Boulder forward in towards the mid, going after Crit with the Sentry Ward down. They have the extra information, so Crit will fall, but here comes S4 around the back. The E play pop. Morbling almost killed off S4. He'll time lapse up the damage. Concoctions onto the ES. Mid one focusing onto the Supernova. He needs more hits. He needs more time. And he has it. Waveforms up. It's a two for two trade off. That's a good thing in Team Secret's mind. And they gotta use Moonlight Shadow defensively. They just wanna get the body oh, out of here. Arteezy, he actually blinked into it. Crit has to swap him away to save you with the E Blade pop. Arteezy will fall. A huge kill for mid one. Crit to follow through. The curse is out. Samel want to try and fight in here. But Puppy says no. Hold him in position. Isolate S4 with a kick. Mid one has a triple kill. Samel wants to try and help this out. But what can he really do? He has to blink away and run down the lane. Yeah, I'm the wall. Speak of Arteezy. Yeah, so going in after it. Arteezy will enrage up. Trying to survive, more supports arrive in the form of Samel. Arrow flies in, and Samel stunned up for five seconds. Mid one, just pump, 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 pump him down. But there's more where that came from. Evil Genius is ready to fight, Puppy. Oh, cold and brace for the moment. Ace is trying to break him free. Here comes your Icarus dive, able to get mid one fired up. But Team Secret want to retreat. Fana has a leap available, and they turn around. Mid one with E-Blade pop crit, almost goes down to it.
And it looks like Evil Geniuses are not going to give them the fight they're looking for, or maybe they do. Samael with that Octarine and Aegis, he's looking for a kill. Okay. He's up really, really aggressive, but Yapso kicks him. The concoction, Samael stuns himself, but then into the rolling boulder. Arteezy ready and waiting for him. Mid one as well. Waveform way too far close. Samael jumps in to get for another concoction. He goes for a great doppelganger away to safety, but no mid one. He has buyback on cooldown. He spent the money in the BKB. The curse from Puppy is buying some time as he slows them up. Splinter Blast does some good work too, but still, EG, they've got the sustain, and rtg has got the balls. Jumping in real deep after FUD under the Tier 4 towers. It won't happen, however. They go back to the primary objective. Tier 3, Raxus, and Puppy. Samael is right on top of him, and they bring him down. Radiant Spurn doing the work while he's protected inside the cold embrace. The buyback has to come in from Puppy as Team Secret. You knew it was going to happen eventually. Their bait is being broken into many, many pieces. And how do they defend this? Still 40 seconds on the morph flank. There is no way he could win a fight without that morph. Sparta had to leave. He has nothing left. Puppy gives him the cold embrace. Sparta protected by the BKB and that cold embrace. But then a leap up. The BKB wears off and the Nova's in the perfect spot. Team Secret trying to get back into their home. The Nova will stun up both Puppy as well as Ace. Let's see if they choose to go for the Megas or not. They still have the Alchemist Aegis, so I don't see why they would need to stop here. Sure, Supernova is on cooldown, but... The rest of the tools that you have are still more than enough, and we're charging up the concoction he against Yap. Yep, right underneath the tier 4 towers. Once again, the cold embrace from Yap's all going to be, uh, be protecting him as Puppy. Nice curse onto Alchemist. He'll end up stunning himself with the concoction, but it won't matter when Arteezy has just mopped up the back lines. Yapso and Puppy both down. The Morphling is back to the world of the living, however, so mid one able to try and help defend. But it still seems like an immountable task, especially when Arteezy, he gets the jump in, mid one, stunned up, and now he'll actually have to change into Arteezy, battle back and forward, Arteezy, slowed up by eight, they have the control, that's why you got that E-Blade pop with some out, concoction stun, mid one's Lincoln Spear will protect him, as Ace creates more of himself, summon the army of Phantom Lancer, especially now the Aegis is timed out on some mail, be careful with EG's push, they have Moonlight Shadow up, Verana, TP's in towards the front lines, they want to try and be, uh, okay, no they don't, they want to wait, it out. Uh, you can't destroy the fountain Dota 2 RTZ. He doesn't Dota 1 thing. Yapso needs to respond. A quick swap out. Actually dropping the Morphling well out of the fight. Buying the space for Arteezy just to go ham. They will kill off crit. So a one for one trade off this uh, Arteezy runaway. BKB has now disappeared and the double damage is sticking out as well but that's why Samel back in again and we have the Supernova. They're all in that. They're gonna kill it and they bring it down. Arteezy breaks free. He doesn't have the regeneration that came with the Supernova and that's why a quick leap away. Arteezy with no to work with, but S4, he's ready to come into the back line, Sparta, BKB's up, defensive, with the arrow onto the Alchemist, but Arteezy, he can just bash, and Sparta on the hillside will fall down, so will Ace with the concoction stun, Puppy, how many times have we seen him trying to hold himself with a cold embrace, but I don't think anything can hold back EG, they have managed to bring down so much of Secret, he'll run straight into Puppy, puts on the Weaver Beetles, and Puppy, so much damage on him, so he has to cold embrace, but Arteezy, in deep, finds the Absol, a perfect concoction chase, on over towards Fada as well. Mid one's looking for his own concoction, but the supernova under the tier four towers. Fada and mid one can't focus it. Arteezy and Samel just too strong. The BKB is going to wear off after the supernova has already got the crash in. That's really the game. No way to defend, and GG is called. Evil Jesus take game one against Team Secret. They're motivated and they're ahead. Awkward. 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 All right. Yeah. Let's see. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you called it black. We're going to look stupid afterwards because it's going to be a tinker coming out for a secret. In the meantime, obviously, it's going to be free farm for Fata as Drow Ranger just can't come close to the wave. The Absar is not letting him pull. Yeah, that's that dangerous thing. Bottom lane, perfect body blocks up. He doesn't have a chem, but he's got an illusion. S4's got to stick charges, and he will go down. Puppy will club him. S4 and Crit have no need for it. He can use it alone. Damage from the magic missile on the bottom lane. Ace is loving it, but then he loves the ghost shroud. Into the regeneration, still hasn't got the bug off him. S4 does heavy amounts of damage with this, and with the wave of terror, it's so much negative armor. And, and try to try to play with his strengths here. Looks oh. like what they're doing. Under the but Reaper. Where's the Reaper's side? This is going to come down. He needs oh, to. Oh, got it all. The timing. 
Ace was trying to interrupt the time lapse. That puppy has no other choice but to TP out. The Dead Pulse gives him enough life to survive. Ace being there for his teammate, but now they're in trouble. Yapsaw will fall up on the top lane to Arteezy. Ace has to go Shroud, but his negative armor is dropping quickly with the wave of terror. Crits coming in deep with the magic missile will connect. The bubble will fall off, but it won't matter. The real one's there to run straight through him. Necrophos, he needs to be part of these fights, which is about to happen in mid. Samael and Crit rotate around the back. Ace is becoming the punching bag. Oh, he gets the Ghost off, but he just amplifies himself. Death Pulse is available, so he has to, like, he sustains for an extra half a second. And they also use Moonlight there, I believe, yeah. So that's not available for two minutes. This is a great, great pickup for EG, especially if they end up getting the tower here. And S4 is rotating behind us. Oh. Swap, swap on the Yapso. He'll get the pickup and throw it back down again. And he actually steals Swap, tries to get away, but S4 is already oh, directed on. Home and he's looking for mid one as well. Tinker. Oh. There's the time left out for S4. Mid-1 did not account for that at all. Basically, the homing missile was flying toward Yapsar, and he died in its switch direction onto the Tinker, and S4 immediately picks up on that. He's like, great, Ooh. free kill. s falls in the wrong position. Fly trying to deny himself up to the Centaurs, but no. So claiming a little bit of gold for himself as They're well. They're going to find Puppy once again. Oh. Crit there with a the stun. Puppy was hoping to do a bit of a warning mission, ready for this fight on bottom lane. He starts to tank now as the pick up from Yapsaw and the throw back. Yapsaw, what's he going to be able to steal? Absolutely nothing. He dies before the steal can reach him. The gyrocopter is super annoying just because he's not, you know, the way Ogre plays in this early mid game is that you feel like you can't come close to him and just man fight him, but Gyro just uh, brings him down so fast. Yapso gets a quick pick and drop down Ace. Blade Mail. Blade Mail is trying to make him kill himself. He almost does it with the scythe fly. He will fall down. It wasn't to the Reaper scythe, however. But EG get what they were looking for. Yeah, this is uh, the dream ability if you're a Rubik. Such fast movement oh, speed. Arrow. Once you're getting close, the arrow will fly a straight, but into the tree lines. They'll see Samel pick up and gets the call down into a BKB. Oh, and no. Team Secret, it was the dream steal, but now they're losing everything. Ace will have a little bit more of a heal, but that blade mount does not protect him. Evil Jesus just pushing back Team Secret. But there is still problems. It's the fact that you have this never ending spam coming in from the Tinker that just makes it difficult for EG to Is he going to smoke fly? this or no? Is fly? How valuable is your life? Um, okay, not valuable enough. <laughs> yep. Never ending pickup control. Yeah, so always get Fade Boy. Yep, so runs in. But remember, he's got that ability with Shakuchi just to jump straight back out again. Tombstone dropped down by Fly. So they got the team fight because Samel, BKP, Fly Cannon working once again. But the draw range is dead, so this damage output is really not as high as he would really have liked to. They get the one for it. And Puppy, maybe a couple of others. Sentries are down, so they have really good vision. Samel jumps forward over on Yapsaw. Shakuchi's away to safety once more and away from the arrow that was flying forward. That homing missile was chasing the Tinker all the way back to base. But with March of the Machines, it's so hard to jump forward. And again, Fly, S4 and Crits right behind him, ready to fight. But here comes Fighter with a Starfall. They already get the grab, and the Stolen Tombstone from Yapsaw is going to make this a minion fight as well. Oh, Crit into the tree lines. He actually can live through this. It's S4. No, no, we cannot. S4 can't get the kills in time. Puppy's kind of stranded as well. Double buybacks coming in from Team Secret. They really want to win this fight, especially now that Samel doesn't have cooldown, doesn't have BKP, and Arteezy can't even get up the bloody hill. The Lincoln Spear tries to protect him, but it will not protect from rockets. Oh, well, they'll have to ramp around. Sentry was planted down by Puppy. They've got to get the stun control locked down. They've got it with See the ya. arrows, and look at him just chain. It wasn't chaining stuns, it was chaining damage. But now Evil Genes has come out of their own smoke on the run out of here. Necrophos tries to be the only one on the front line, but Puppy swapped back in. Double tombstones now being planted down. Aghanim Sector will finally arrive for the Tinker as he'll try and jump forward with the Moonlight Shadow. Puppy has actually outrun them. He has dust on him, but now he'll just turn up Fly. The Rockets, they're spamming through so heavily. Fly can't take this. The real Barrage. It ain't the Gyro, it's the Tinker the meat packet that EG can pump into and kill pretty quickly. He's, and he's got medallion, he's got urn. Oh, oh good swap. swap him. He has cheese. Found the target, he has cheese, so go shroud and then get the, the life back up again. Call down, committed, fly. He's going down so low. Look at the he's damage. Blockers, but the flat cannon from Samael, he hits in like a truck. Ace is gone, Fodder is committing. The Starfall won't be able to kill off S4. The Rockets are following after him. He's got double and S4, he will survive. From that information, and they're trying to get a backstab move in here. Ace would be a fun. great pick. Up. He's got your well swap him again. Now. So, yep, there's your swap. This feels like a deja vu. Magic missile will connect as the silence is making a couple of problems. And uh, some mail. BKB jumps forward. The flat cannon's already expanded, but it won't matter when they've killed off Ace. The team secret. They got some distance. Now the BKBs for Evil Jesus wear off. So they pick up Crit. Look for a quick little revenge with a wave of terror. They'll get the negative armor out. Not to mention the stuns. Chaining them to fly. Mid one with a double kill. They'll kill the death tombstone. Yep, he will do it again. Oh, Puppy is so close.
And this is a What vision! Throws it down! The arrow will connect Fias will swap him out. Ortiz will be able to buy and get the gun back into mail! Turns on the power! After mid one, he got the big one! Will there be more buybacks? Ogre's already committed one. Ace gets the side off. It won't be enough to kill off Arteezy. The time match from S4, he'll even repair the damage. The spot right here. It's it was their really big comeback against uh, VP, I he believe it was in the grand final game five, was it? Is Puppy try, is Puppy trying to bait? He's walking down to the mid lane. Rubik's gonna finally TP back. So they see the Drew Ranger get the initial stun. Vada, they just nuke it, but the swap it won't be enough. The staff will follow him up, but now it's a male. Blink in, turn on the black cannon. Damage, damage, damage. The Scythe wants to buy a little bit of space. They're able to kill off crit. So it is a two for nothing trade off, but Samael is still up and fighting. Satanic is built, and S4 was with him. Never ending fight. <laughs> Evil Genius is back in a Roshan. Team Secret are coming over, but they're there way too late. Refresher Shan is available. Did you know that Draura line oh, was up. The Absol is not done just yet. The rockets are flying in. Ace in pretty close. He's got the protection. The Tombstone is doubled down once again. So Team Secret, they have to buy the distance. Puppy into the back lines. Goes to the sun over on Samael. There's no BKB on him. So <laughs> probably feel the confidence to fight. But there is no confidence. Puppy and Ace just get obliterated by Arteezy. Shadow, they'll bounce down. They're going to find Crip moving down the lane. Nice little arcane rune that Samael's moving over for. Oh, oh, no, no. Chris right next to him. The side comes down. Samael will die. And they look to get the follow up into Crit. Yamsa protected by the Ghost of the Crit will go down. Final with a double kill. Mid one. He's underneath the tombstone. The BKB protecting him, allowing his TP out to be successful. S4 was trying to chip away at him. They get rid of the tombstone. So Team Secret can stand here to fight the dream to leave their side of the river. Ignite spam from Puppy. The Marsh Machines give him the cover. Great swap back into the nullifier. But Ace, he's protected by the Aeon Disc. So he just moves away. Crit goes down again. That's easy! Swap into the middle of the fight! The tier 3 tower will fall. Arteezy will buy back his life. He needs to be there to give the aura. And there it is. Team Secret. A full mid raxing But they're going for more. You've still got 8 seconds for Samel. He doesn't want to buy back from this. He can take the tier 3 tower and then potentially retreat. But the Master Machine, the cover is thick. It's heavy. S4 doesn't care. He runs into it. Do they have the control? Not when he's BK beat up. His father tries to send his ground. He'll go down. But Samel is here. Samel, the defender. He will hold him and kill him. A double kill. The call down clip Puppy on the edge. Come out their spot for do they really? This is their area. Puppy's right in top of them. They'll swap in and oh, find the crap. crap. Yapsaw just explodes. They move over towards Puppy. Samael found him. The BKB does burn from him. And Samael will find him in the tree line. Goes up and does not protect Puppy inside that cooldown. He buys him time to get at least one stun off. All right, no items on it at least. Wait, what's that? BKB S4. S4 trying to run straight through the middle. He did get the small mop, but it's distracted so they can go in through the top lane. S4, it really is smoke and mirrors. Laser will bounce around. They swap in mid one. Mid one's in trouble, and he's going to go down. Buyback is available for him. He'll have to use it instantly as that call down black cannon from Smell. It will finally wear off, and they haven't got enough of these tools to really make it work. They actually have to wait it out. There's so many like undead minions fighting around. Team Secret, back to what you hold dear. There's a melee rack on bot. S4 is ready to take that, but looking for the kills in towards the mid. The laser making it so difficult to hit. Samael, finally he'll go down. The Aegis Immortal will burn. Team Secret, they're fighting, but they need to regenerate. Fly is still alive, ready for the fight. So Samael blinks himself forward, right on top of Ace. Then the Flat Cannon, once again, with a call down. Ace will fall. No buybacks available. EG, underneath the Tier 4 tower, oh, are killing off Team Secret. But for now, Team Secret, at least in some way, hold the lines and maybe even find kills. Mid one's coming out. The guts from Arteezy. Yatsa into the back lines. He's going to find the kill into Arteezy. No! Yes, he does. But you've still got Tinker down. Fada's in trouble. Surrounded on all sides. Team Secret are done. They're dusted. There is no more. GG. Evil geniuses take out Team Secret and secure themselves a top six position here at TI. What a great game that was. I think both teams played a really nice game. Overall, a long time for you to finish itself with their drow strat, but... I want to answer your question that you said halfway through the cast. It was 68,000 damage for the man who was just on camera, Samael. So there's not one person above him. Mid one at 71k at the end of that game. It was...